Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'd like to talk a little bit about the Cinnamon desktop environment and some of the reasons why I like it. So now I'm running Fedora 27 with the Cinnamon Spin and uh, the biggest advantage of Cinnamon is I think the uh, window management and more specifically the window signing. Uh, what I mean by that, for example, let's open a terminal window that to tile windows, I'll, I mean to place a window wherever you like it on the screen. You, ju you just need to use uh, your super key and the arrow keys. And you can place a window to the sides, to the bottom, to the top, to the quarters, you know, we just these keys, the super keys and the arrows. And it's so cool. You know, you can do the same in Windows. And uh, that's what I like about uh, Cinnamon, that it uh, works like Windows in that uh, respect. And I think it's very intuitive, it's very useful, it's very, it's very productive. Or it can make you very productive. So the window tiling and the window management is great. I think each and every uh, window manager in each and every desktop environment should have this kind of window tiling. Really, I just love it. For example, in KDE, <coughs> if you want to place the window uh, in one of the quarters, you need to define separate um, keyboard shortcuts for that. And also, <coughs> if we are talking about keyboard shortcuts, I like, I really like the uh, default key keyboard shortcuts that are uh, coming with uh, Cinnamon. In KDE, there are a lot of possible keyboard shortcuts, but most of them are not config configured. So if I uh, install KDE, I have to manually configure a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, or I can write a, for example, a Python script that modifies the uh, text file which which stores, which um, defines the keyboard configurations. Mm, actually, that's a fun way. I've written such a um, script. Uh, yeah, but you know, really just for fun. <coughs> All right. The other thing I like about Cinnamon is that it's got the traditional workflow like Windows. You've, you've got your start menu, you've got your task manager. Um, and it's especially if you're coming from Windows, it's very familiar. Uh, and uh, yeah, I like this workflow. The other thing is that Cinnamon is very much customizable. So let's just have at these settings. There are, especially compared to GNOME 3, there are a lot of, a ton of things here. And uh, this is great, for example, in GNOME 3, you have to install the Tweety tool to tweak the themes. And here you've got a lot of themes and the themes might be default, but look great. So, yeah, the key main advantages of Cinnamon, at least for me, the window tiling, the traditional workflow, and the customizability. And uh, also, uh, Cinnamon, especially in this Fedora spin, looks awesome. So, I like the styling, I like uh, how, how it's put together and I also like the uh, apps that come with Cinnamon. All right. And one other thing, uh, on this system I have installed KDE and Cinnamon. And one of the things I like about KDE is the KDE Connect app. Of course this app runs on other uh, desktop environments as well. As you see, for example, 
it's right here in cinnamon and uh, what it does <coughs> I have installed um, KDE Connect on my Nexus 5X from the f uh, App Store because I don't have Google on that phone and uh, you can browse your Android device uh, because it it yeah it has opened mm, Dolphin you know the um, theming with this cinnamon theming Dolphin looks you know not that great so that's the reason if you open the how how is it called no no Nautilus is in GNOME it's called <coughs> I don't know it's the cinnamon file manager you know it looks fine it's great it's beautiful but Dolphin is a little bit messed up but whatever if you use KDE uh, you don't run into such problems so you can browse your Android device you can copy and paste files you know it's it's great it's very useful that you don't have to care about cables you don't have to care about micro USB USB C whatever it's just so easy just so useful <coughs> mm, I think cinnamon is really it's like uh, a middle ground between GNOME 3 and KDE uh, I like all three of these actually my favorite desktop environments are <coughs> GNOME 3, Cinnamon and KDE all of these have their own advantages, disadvantages, their own strength uh, and the problem with GNOME 3 at least for me is that it's, it's too minimalist it's not giving you at least me enough options it's not customizable enough <coughs> Um, but I like the workflow in GNOME 3 so I like the traditional workflow with start menu and stuff but I, I also do like these this modern uh, workflow which 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 is the thing of GNOME 3 uh, but I think GNOME 3 is too minimalist uh, it's too much like Apple uh, that you know they design the desktop and that's the way it is you are supposed to use it this way and you can't really custom customize it of course you can but not as much as you can customize uh, cinnamon or especially KDE but uh, minimalism and simplicity <coughs> are the strengths of GNOME 3 and it can be it is really refreshing to use a desktop environment that that uh, <coughs> doesn't want to be everything, doesn't want to do everything. Uh, so I like it too. <coughs> and the advantage of KDE is that you can customize everything. And you know I like customizing things. And uh, this is also a disadvantage because you know there are people like switch to Linux who loves um, Linux means cinnamon you know for such people <coughs> the desktop environment is not so important they just need something that works for them <coughs> that gets out of the way but uh, for me I like if a desktop environment is modern it is gorgeous looks great and uh, KDE um, I like how KDE looks uh, I like how GNOME looks but the problem with KDE is that you know if there are a lot of things to customize I like to just dive into the customizations and it can be very time consuming and <coughs> you can mess up your system or your desktop environment if you customize just too crazily as I I am inclined to customize crazily 
because I like to explore the settings, the options. And the GNOME gives me too few settings and options. KDE gives gives me every possible settings and options and cinnamon is the perfect middle ground. The settings, the options in cinnamon are just, I think, it really is the perfect balance. So GNOME is, I think, too minimalist. I like minimalism and simplicity, but I think it's too minimalist and simple. I like customizability, but I think KDE tries to be too much, it tries to do everything. Uh, you know, which is fine. It's, it's much better to have more options than not enough options because uh, with KDE in the case of case of KDE you, you can just accept the default configuration the default settings and you can tweak a little bit just just you know just change it a little bit but uh, if I had to choose one desktop environment for for the rest of my life I would really be in trouble because there are a lot of things I like about GNOME 3, there are a lot of things I like about KDE, and there are a lot of things I like about Cinnamon. So, when Fedora 28 comes out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I do the same as Fast Gadget, who installs uh, Fedora Workstation with the GNOME desktop environment and installs KDE on top of it or besides it and uh, he uses both. Mm, I haven't tried this setup before, I mean using uh, GNOME and KDE together for for a longer peri period of time and I have heard that uh, if you install these two desktop environments uh, together they may mess up each other. I don't know. I think that's an advantage if you have more than one computers at home that you, for example, on my laptop, I have also KD and GNOME 3 installed, but primarily I use GNOME 3 there. On my desktop, I have Cinnamon and KD installed and uh, I've been using Cinnamon for the past few months uh, and I've been using KD for the past few, mainly for the past few weeks. Um, and you know, you just have to try, explore, you, you have to take your time and uh, yeah, that's the only way to find out which desktop environment, which distribution works for you the best, which is the one you can stick with for a longer period of time because, you know, always installing things, reinstalling things modifying things it takes a lot of time you know i like playing around i like uh i don't mind if my system breaks because uh i store my data for example on my uh nas or i have uh, backups so i don't mind messing up my system but but if I have to reinstall my system and it, it takes time and yeah, but whatever, Cinnamon is great, Fedora is great, KDE is great, GNOME 3 is great, Linux is great, much better than anything else, I think. I don't say that Mac is bad, Windows is bad. I don't say that everybody should leave those platforms and come to Linux because it's the holy grail. No, they should use what works for them. But for me, privacy is important, flexibility is important, um, and I like the fact that my operating system, in this case Fedora, Linux, it doesn't spy on me, it lets to do everything I want to do and it's a 
great experience. It's beautiful, you know. I'm before I became a Linux user, I was a Windows user, and I switched to completely to Linux uh, last year, last summer, I think. And before that, I have always been using Windows, and I'm not missing Windows. But that said, I like Windows 10. Uh, I like the way Windows 7 and Windows 10 works. So if Windows were a privacy-respecting open source operating system, I'd use Windows, I think. But because Windows is like that, spying on you, and there, there are a lot of things that are that re that really annoy me. For example, those stupid apps you the, you know they are installed by default and you can't really uh, uninstall them. The Windows 10 Store. I just don't like those things. So. Linux is really my favorite operating system. I'm so very happy for Linux because it gives you a lot of choices. It gives you privacy, it gives you freedom. And I'm not missing anything from Windows. Everything I want to do, every app I want to use, is available under Linux. You know, you don't you don't have to use Microsoft Office. In Linux, you've got LibreOffice. For example, there are other Office su uh, suits, of course, but my favorite one is LibreOffice. And uh, is Microsoft Office better than LibreOffice? No. I think it's just as good. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.